Hello beautiful people, what is up? Today is Sunday, May 3rd. It's the day before my anniversary actually um, with Matt. It's our one year married. We've been together though almost seven years now. I'm really tired today. I stayed up way too late last night and also was drinking. Um, so I'm not feeling the best, but that's okay. I'm on my way to work. It's like 9.15. And I just wanted to have yet another weekly vlog for you in COVID-19 life. Um, it's really weird. I definitely am, this is, okay, so like I said, it's May 3rd. So for some context, during this week, some states have chosen to start trying to open up. There's a lot of like unrest right now in everywhere. Um, I live in Southern California and uh, they have started trying to open up some of the beaches and unfortunately they're just really really packed because everybody is going out of their minds stuck at home so everyone is flocking to the beaches now that they're open which yeah that's a thing that's happening um, and Governor Newsom which is California's governor said that there would be like a four step process opening up, opening back up and we're only on step one, which is basically not opening up yet. Um, and he didn't give a timeline, but he did lay out that like, first they'll try to open up some of the like non-essential stuff. That's like the gyms. I think he said restaurants were in there, but like at really low capacity. And then they would go to the next step and the next step and so on and I definitely understand the fatigue of all of this the, it is insane to me because mostly because humans are social animals and so we all are feeling the other effects the depression and anxiety and paranoia and loneliness and all of this stuff from staying at home and not being able to see the people that we usually surround ourselves with and at least for me I'm I'm it's at the point where like we've been doing this for such a long time that I'm I just feel I mean I'm exhausted today anyway but I do feel exhausted doing this like and we're not even doing anything you know it's not like we're ex extending or expending a lot of energy by staying home and like I don't know it's it's really hard this whole thing is just really hard and I do worry about the pros and cons of doing this like is what we're doing is the extent of what we're doing to save whatever percentage of lives we're saving? Are we going to end up not saving, like losing more lives because of other things? Like what kind of rates of suicide and abuse and stuff are we gonna see because we told everyone to sit in their houses and not leave? And like, it's crazy. There's like some some percentages out there too. Like um, the rates, if you look at the rates of child abuse right now, it looks like it's gone down 50%, but that's because 90% of those who report child abuse are teachers teachers aren't seeing their kids right now in a way that they can see or report so it's like I, I'm I just I, I'm having a hard time seeing continuing to see the strength in our what I'm doing and I'm still doing it I'm, I'm still following you know the rules and whatever because this is all just my feeling. I have no proof that this is worse than the other or whatever. But I 
do think that it's important to be asking these questions and thinking about more than just what COVID-19 is doing and how to stop that. There's nuance here. There's whole lives and whole people that is going on. So anyway, that's a really heavy start to this vlog, but I like couldn't not say what's been on my mind for the last few days that I haven't been vlogging. And that's part of why I haven't been vlogging because I feel a little bit like I might get, you know, attacked online for saying this and that I'm heartless because, you know, I don't care about lives lost of COVID-19. I just, frankly, that's not what I'm saying. So if that's what you think, I'm sorry that you feel that way. And I don't know like how clear I can be that it's not that I don't care about either or, I just care about it all. And I'm concerned that a lot of stuff out there is only worrying about one part instead of the whole parts, all of it, the sum of the whole, the sum of the parts. So yeah, I'm just talking out of my ass right now and I am nervous to post this. Maybe I won't post it at all, I don't know. But anyways, it's Sunday. Um, tomorrow is my anniversary, like I said. I think that we have no plans because we can't go anywhere. Um, I do really want to listen to our wedding song and dance in our living room. And that's like basically the extent of what I want to do. Um, yeah. So I don't really know what's going on for this week. Um, I obviously am going to work and I do need to do some editing and some, I need to make some thumbnails. I have two videos like up and ready for this week already. So I'd, I've done, edit, I've finished editing them, but I need to make thumbnails for those two. And then I need to edit two more videos for this week and thumbnails. And I probably won't edit tonight. I'll probably edit a little bit later in the week. But I also want to show you guys, I'm going to try to propagate my pothos um, in a few different spots. And propagating means that I cut a clipping off of it basically and I'm going to try to see if it'll grow some roots so that it can be repotted into a new plant. Um, so there's quite a few vines right now that are really, really long. And so if I let them hang all the way down, then the cats can reach them. And pothos are poisonous to cats, so can't let them have it. And yeah, so I'm gonna try to propagate some pothos for some friends and stuff. I've never done it before, so I'm excited to try it. So that's gonna happen this week. And I think that's it for now. I will let you guys know when I have something to say to you. Um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm sorry I started this vlog off so seriously but again this is life right now like this is what's happening all of us are living through this in one way or another and that's just the truth of it so anyways i'm gonna go for now bye what's all for me this drink i'm not drinking you have to have at least a sip holding it like that. Yeah. Nothing, just keep going. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Yesterday was my one year wedding anniversary, so Matt and I hung out and after I got off work and we, I don't know why it was so bright earlier, but I fixed it. Dude, coronavirus makes me not be able to say words. Okay, so after I got off work, we hung out, I poured us some champagne. So as you saw there, Matt, I ended up pouring both the, the second glass of champagne, I ended up pouring it into my own glass and then Matt was drinking beer. That's because Matt doesn't like champagne, but I still wanted him 
to have like a sip because celebrating things and you know Instagram versus reality life so that was cute and then we ended up watching our wedding video which I made and it's on this channel if you're interested it's not like professionally shot or anything it's mostly just clips from people's cell phones that were at the wedding um, with the exception of like some of the ceremony stuff I did pull out my camera and have it set up with my uh, brother or friend somebody was in charge of making sure it maintained recording but um, other than that it's just like a compilation of videos and then I also included some of our like photography photos from our photographers so anyways that's was really fun I really enjoyed watching it um, it has all the speeches on there and it has our vows and stuff like that um, so that was great and then we watched Star Wars we watched Rogue One which we hadn't seen since going to the movies for it and so that was also a nice thing to share um, just because it was also made for you with you so that was fun I ended up staying up too late because what is life and so it's already 6 40 and I am running a little bit late to work but say la vie and we'll get there so yeah the other thing that I did want to just like quickly talk about is that by the time this goes up there should be a video that's like going into depth of all my thoughts on this but Stephanie Meyer dropped information that she is publishing Midnight Sun which is Twilight told in Edward's point of view this August 4th, 2020, and I am so excited. I'm so excited. I, what a coincidence. Sorry, I'm tired. What a coincidence because I actually, a couple weeks ago, so me and my best friend Bailey, who run the Girls Who Gap podcast, and then my friend Sierra, who used to be on BookTube but is no longer on BookTube anymore, she and I, or the three of us have been doing a movie night virtually every Friday and a couple weeks ago we started Twilight and then we watched um, New Moon this last Friday and we're gonna continue on so on the Twilight night Sierra was talking about Midnight Sun and we were talking about we were telling Bailey what happened with the story and how Stephanie Meyer never published it because it got leaked and so the the leaked version this unfinished manuscript has been posted on her website since then it's been years and so Sierra was saying that she has read it and that it was really good and that I should read it and so she like found me the link to it and stuff and I've been reading it and so like what a coincidence that I've been reading the unfinished version that Stephanie Meyer sent out years ago because of it, it got leaked and now she's finally publishing it so it's so perfect. I'm still gonna finish the manuscript because I want to see the difference between that one and the new finished version since like it's a different time frame, it's a different era of you know everything and Stephanie Meyer I'm sure has like added to her writing skill stuff like you know so I'm curious to see the differences and all that stuff. So that's really exciting and totally irrelevant to like this channel but I'm really excited about it so that was like a point of joy for me the other thing that I wanted to catch you up on was that I went on um, Sunday I was having a really 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 bad day I couldn't I couldn't move past how angry I am that this is the situation we're in and I'm trying to be the socially responsible one I'm trying to I talked about this in the beginning of this vlog I'm trying to be the socially responsible one, um, but yeah, I was just in a really bad mood, which is why this vlog started out so negative. I'm so sorry about that again, but that is what it is sometimes, and yeah, so I, on Sunday, Bailey, I had to pick up some mason jars from her because I'm trying to propagate my plant, and she ended up surprising me by bringing down a bottle of wine, and we had a glass of wine across uh, from like her truck her husband's truck is like nice and wide so we both stood on the opposite sides of the truck and chatted and had our masks on when we weren't drinking and it was just so wonderful and I can't wait to be able to hang out with people in person
person. And this also just, I mean, there, I, I can see some silver linings in it, even though I'm so angry that we have to go through it, which is like, we're realizing truly the effects of having so much screen time and not enough in-person time. And I also was reading an article about teenagers and how much they're being affected by this and potentially being the most affected by this. And it was just, it was really enlightening. I think we, I'm like, I think we're all kind of struggling, especially, well, I don't have kids, so like I can't speak for myself, but like I think a lot of kids are really struggling with this. I've seen some anecdotal stuff on like Twitter and things about like kids like having a harder time like more temper tantrums than usual or whatever or like if they're older like still young like seven eight nine ten where temper tantrums aren't all that often but they're having them they're having them again and they're just like having total meltdowns and it's because they miss their fucking friends like they don't have any social interaction with children their age unless they have siblings and that, like, what effect are we giving our kids because of that? And I'm not trying to make this vlog a we should open up the country forever, like, right now. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not even saying that I feel ready to start opening it up. I do think we should start very, very slowly to kind of see if we can, because we'll never know until we try. But, like, I'm not trying to say that I'm for the protests or anything. I think it's just, like I was saying on Sunday in this vlog, like there is nuance and I can be a, approving of this stay home order for the greater good while still questioning if it is in fact the greatest good. I think asking questions is important. Anyways, I don't know how I keep doing this to myself. I had a great Monday evening with Bailey. Yesterday, no, Sunday evening with Bailey. And yesterday I had a great time with Matt. I'm very tired today, but I will survive. Today is a very busy day. I have to go to work. And then when I get off of work, I'm tutoring my cousin who is in fourth grade. I am doing Zoom sessions with her twice a week in order to make sure that she does her freaking homework because some school districts have done some great things with all of this like moving online and they're aware that this is the end of the year and like let's just kind of make sure they can pluck up their grades if they need to and not have a lot to do because there's no teacher in the room and other school districts like the one my cousin is in does not do that and they are still expected to do a lot a lot a lot of reading and writing and learning but there's no teacher to help them so my cousin has two parents who work who are essential workers and there's no one to help her like I mean sound out the words as easily as that like just as simple as that and so then she's struggling and like gets frustrated and then she gives up on the whole thing so a couple days a couple days a week for a couple hours a week I'm doing that and then I also have my class tonight so I'm a busy lady today I'm a little bit disappointed because I really really want to work out today but I'm not going to because I don't have any time perhaps I'll have like 30 minutes but we'll see so anyways I'm gonna get off of this I'm gonna finish heading to work um, and I will see you guys when I have another update bye what is it what is it What could it be? Oh, you want it so bad? <laughs> yeah, you want the butterfly. He's cool, huh? <laughs> Padfoot's just playing. Padfoot's just joining us. He's not even looking at the right thing. Hedwig, what is it?
What do you see? Hey everyone, I just wanted to let you guys know that it's the end of Cinco de Mayo and Matt and I had a good little like meal from El Torito which was very tasty. I had margaritas. Now I'm drinking my detox tea and I just did a skincare mask like over and over again because I have some significant acne up here and on my chin and on my forehead and it's all hormonal because I'm on my period, so that's really great. But I did do a little like step-by-step -step boomerang situation over on my Instagram. So if you guys are interested in things like that, you should go check that out. But yeah, having a, the end of my night, gonna finish my tea and then go to sleep. I'm going to bed late, as per usual. I'm gonna get up in the morning and have to go to work and be very upset that I stayed up this late. So I'm gonna sleep. I'll see you guys in the morning. Bye. Good morning. It is now Thursday. It's my Friday. I'm so excited about it. I wanted to talk to you guys because I have an idea that like part of me thinks it doesn't feel very original, but part of me like just wants to do it anyway. And that is Okay, so I have a Facebook page called the Sassy Sisters. So if you're interested in checking that out, it's like just a public group, um, a public page for like content. And I haven't actually been using it that much, but I want to use it more. But then I was thinking about making a private group like related to the page. And that could be where I'm, I really want to start another month of no drinking i want to start a month of trying to maintain my working out five days a week because i haven't been i've been doing more like three to four um so i want to try to like stay on top of it and i also want some like a place where i can hold myself accountable for my eating habits um personally i like to track calories and macros but that doesn't mean that that's the perfect way for everyone but I was thinking about sharing like in that private group like my stuff and then like if you guys want to join then we could all kind of like hold each other accountable for this like thing that we're trying to do so we don't all have to be on the same the same exact um, goals or plans for the month but it's a place to like check in with our goals and stuff. I was listening to this podcast. It's the um, Uninterrupted with Brittany, Brittany Hammond podcast. And my friend Brittany Colleen was on there doing um, a interview with her. And Brittany Colleen, my friend, is actually, they're both like coaches, like um, life coaches, professional coaches, whatever they're called. Um, and my friend Brittany was talking about, it's funny talking about two Brittany's at the same time, lol. Um, my friend Brittany was talking about how like, don't, a lot of people basically, she what she works on the most with her women that hire her is that women will like have these ideas but then they don't feel like affirmed that their idea is good enough and so then they never try it or they're like so focused on other people's successes and like how they did it that then they just follow that lead but then it doesn't work and if they would just like accept that they have good ideas and they have good business ideas then and run with it then maybe that would work better because people don't want to see you do the same thing somebody else does they want to see your idea of it and it's it's all about like your approach to something that maybe somebody is also already doing but yeah and I liked that sentiment and that's what's making me think I kind of want to do this but will anyone join me I don't know so anyway that's my idea um it's Thursday like I said it is 6 30 in the morning 
I'm a little bit tired today. Um, I'm very excited for the video that's going up today on my other channel, my wrap up. I think it's gonna be good. Tired, really uh, emotionally and mentally drained. And I don't feel like that's really gonna change anytime soon, unfortunately. Um, so that's that. And so I'm trying really hard to get out of this mindset, but it's not working very well. And I'm just, I don't mean to be so negative, especially in this particular vlog, but like this is what my life is right now. This is what I'm feeling. So like, I'm hoping that this gives someone some reprieve from it because somebody else is feeling the same way. And if you're feeling the same way, I would love to know that so that I can feel a little bit less alone in how angry with the world I am right now. Um, and just angry with the situation that we're all put in and that I put in. I mean, some of it is like individualized of like what I specifically am going through and some of it is very generalized of just what the world is going through. <laughs> ah, I hate it. So anyways, I'm so tired of talking about it because I feel like every time I've made a clip for this video, it has turned into this. But some good things that have happened, I'm gonna try to stay positive one is, again, I already mentioned this, but you should go follow me on Instagram because, well, and Twitter, but Instagram, I've been doing a self-care today post. Um, I started out doing it every single day. Now I'm doing it about every other day-ish, but I'm trying to stay positive and think about like something good that happened, something that I did that, to take care of myself each day. So um, I actually didn't post on my like regular Instagram the most recent one, but not last night, but the night before, I did a full skincare mask, a full skincare routine that night that felt really good. So that was one. If you're looking for some more positive things, then that's a place that you could, that you could look. Um, but something that happened yesterday that was great was I worked out um I did a leg workout and that felt good I felt good doing it I still wish I had a little bit heavier weights but we'll figure it out um so I did that and then I finished editing my video so I got that all done on time and like I didn't have to stay up super late which I definitely thought I was going to have to so that was nice um, and I finished a book yesterday. I finished Midnight Sun, the unfinished um, manuscript that Stephanie Meyer posted years ago. And I'm very excited that I finished it because now I have to wait impatiently for the official release of Midnight Sun finished on August 4th, 2020. So I have three months to reread all the books. My friend Bailey, who Hosts the Girls with Girls Who Gab podcast with me is also reading um, some Twilight stuff. She just started Life and Death, Life and Death, not Life and Death, Life and Death, and I'm pretty sure we're going to make an episode about it one day when she finishes it. She's a very slow reader, so sorry, Bailey, I'm calling you out. But at some point, we will do that. I'm gonna get off of this now. I've been talking for fucking eleven minutes, and. Uh, I'm gonna listen to some book. I'm listening to The Beautiful by Renee Anier right now. So I'm gonna read some of that and go to work. Okay, goodbye. Hello. It's Thursday night. Hedwig's being cute. I'm just laying down to do some reading. I'm reading The Lucky Ones right now. And we watched Princess and the Frog today. I've never seen it before. It was really, really cute. The music is not, like, the best music I've ever listened to, like, as far as Disney songs go. None of them were, like, all that catchy. He's a happy baby. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah, none of them were all that catchy, but 
it was so cute and I liked the um like New Orleans theme because we just went to New Orleans at the start of 2018 for New Year's and it was really fun so I was like going down memory lane I really liked that um and I worked out I did not have class tonight my um, class was canceled so I'm gonna have to do some uh I'm gonna have to watch some stuff uh tomorrow because she like made an assignment for us but I didn't feel like doing it tonight so I'm gonna have to do that tomorrow tomorrow's gonna be a busy day I've got a doctor's appointment online um at 7 45 a.m and then I'm doing tutoring from like 9 to 11 so depending on how long the doctor's appointment lasts I'll probably work out in between if I have time and then after I do my tutoring with my cousin I'm tutoring her she's in like fourth grade after I finish that then I do have a couple of videos I need to film at least one video I need to film um, and I need to go grocery shopping Hedwig is being so cute right now he's just being so needy I need to go grocery shopping and I also have my movie night with Bailey and Sierra tonight uh, tomorrow night so that's the plan. Such a fun day in quarantine. At least I have some cute cats. The other one does not get invited into my room at night because he's a pain in the ass to get out of our room and we don't let the cats sleep with us. So when we go to bed, I kick Hedwig out too, but um, he just like is chill when we try to kick him out. Oh my God. He does this all the time, especially after I take off my Apple Watch, like, after I'm done working out, then he, like, figures out that my wrist smells sweaty and always wants to lick it. So gross. Mmm, salty. Anyways, that's it for now. I hope everyone's having a good night. Um, my cat's licking my wrist, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> Bye. Happy Sunday, y'all. It's the end of this vlog. It's the end of another week in quarantine or in stay at home or whatever the heck you want to talk about. Um, this weekend, as you saw, I did propagate some plants. So I'm so excited to see how they go and how they grow. Um, on Friday, I did my movie night with Sierra and Bailey was not there. Unfortunately, she couldn't be there, but I did watch Onward with Bailey that day, and then I watched Eclipse with Sierra. It's very exciting that we're watching Twilight. I'm like living my best life. Um, and then yesterday, I ended up going over to my dad's house because it's Mother's Day today on Sunday when I'm filming this, and so I wanted to see my stepmom. <clears throat> and um, so we just hung out in the pool and, you know, um, chilled. It was a small group, so it wasn't like a raging party or anything crazy but um yeah so it's a weird time right now and it's weird how much judgment I fear from even saying that I went over to my family's house but I'm just gonna go with it and say that I did um and so this is a cute little picture of me and Matt in the pool and I did get a little sunburn uh not too bad though It'll definitely turn into a tan and I have a little bit of a burn on my arms too. So that's what the end of my week looked like. Um, starting today, I am doing a 30 day challenge for myself that I am also hosting in my private Facebook group that I just made called the Sassy Sisters section. Um, say that three times fast, ha ha. If you go to my Sassy Sisters page, that is just like the Facebook page that I have for all of my channels and everything. You can keep up to date on whatever and everything and whatever. But um, I'm in the Sassy Sisters section is the private group. If you add yourself to that, we're doing a 30 day, no alcohol, working out five or more days a week. Um, and I personally am hitting all, I want to hit all of my macros and like hit my calorie count range. So that starts today, Sunday the 10th and it goes for 30 days and I'm kind of prepping because I also am considering really really 
intensely considering doing the Arbonne 30 Day to Healthy Living Challenge. And so I wanted to kind of compare what results I get myself with my way of doing things in comparison to our bonds and seeing like how how different they really are if they're any different and I'll do a review assuming that I actually do get it um, so that is kind of what I'm doing this for I mean of course I'm doing it for me more than anything I want to do it but I'm also definitely you know posting about it and all of that also kind of to do a comparison of our bonds um, products versus the products that I use right now. So that is going to be coming up soon. That's going to be more what this month looks like on this channel. So if you're interested, you should check that out. With that said, I'm going to get off of this and end this vlog here. I hope you guys are enjoying my weekly quarantine vlogs. Um, I'm aware that they're not very exciting, but hopefully you're getting something out of this and enjoying the content. If you have any other ideas for what you would like to see on this channel with more like lifestyle whatever, then I would love and be very open to hearing your thoughts and opinions on what you would like to see. So please leave that in the comments down below if you're interested in sharing with me. And I will see you guys very soon with a new video. I make videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel, so I'll see you guys soon. Bye!